Deceit is a game that will test your instincts at trust and deception. It is also free to play, which means that a lot of people will be trying it out. I'm pretty sure that many of them will be disappointed to see how bad it runs on their system. Deceit is based on the CryEngine after all, which instantly means that it's a whole lot more demanding than it should be. Now, uh, before some of you start calling me out and telling me that I'm not testing the game on a potato graphics card, will an Intel UHD 630 be enough to convince you? There you go. Can I show you how it's done now? Alright, uh, thank you. This is not a typical benchmark video that will show you what it's like to play the game on certain hardware. This is a video that will show you what it's like to improve the performance of the game on certain hardware. Before we proceed with the optimization process, uh, you will need to download and install the Low Specs Experience. The download link can be found in the description of this video. Low Specs Experience is a game optimization tool that I developed uh, that will allow you to optimize your favorite games for maximum performance. So first of all, start the installation process for the Low Specs Experience. Once it's done, uh, start it from the newly created desktop shortcut and uh, select the optimization catalog. From this drop down menu select the seat and then uh, press uh, load the optimization package. Now if the low specs experience does not automatically detect the game version, simply select the game installation directory, press ok and the optimization control panel will load. When the optimization control panel loads, uh, simply select the method of optimization and the resolution you would like to render your game at. This is something you will need to experiment on your own in order to see what works for your system the best. Once you decide which optimization method and resolution you are going to use, press the execute optimization button and then uh, start your game. Also, if you are not satisfied with what you see, you can always restore your game to default settings by choosing the restore default option. That's all from me for now, if you like what I do, please be sure to like the video and subscribe for more similar content, anyway, I will see you all next time. Let's see what you can do with it. Shout if you need first aid. I'm armored up. 